What's up Chiefs Kingdom, Noah Gray here, tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Joss's channel and check out showmefootball.com. What is up Chiefs Kingdom, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Josh Fan of showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com, covering your Kansas City Chiefs, and I wanted to hop on for a minute tonight to talk about some news that we got. Uh, so this is from Jordan Schultz of Bleach Report. He's reporting that... Louis Reese Zamet, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, uh, is signing with the Kansas City Chiefs following a workout with the team. Now, Louis Reese Zamet is a rugby player. What? The Kansas City Chiefs signed who? A rugby player? Yeah. So, Reese Zamet comes from the NFL Player Pathway Program, which gives guys like Reese Zamet a shot to try and work their way in the NFL from different countries and different sports. Reese Samet reportedly runs a 4-3-40 yard dash and had been training for the past few weeks uh, doing football stuff with this player pathway program. He had fielded interest from several other teams, but the Kansas City Chiefs jump on signing him. Jordan Schultz of Bleach Report also reported that with the new kickoff rule being implemented, which if you guys missed that, the NFL approved a new kickoff rule. If you watched the XFL and the kickoff that they did in that league, that's pretty much what the NFL is adopting. So basically, if you guys don't know what it is, the kicker is still kicking from the 35-yard line. However, the rest of the kicking team will be lined up at the opponent's 40-yard line. Meanwhile, the receiving team will have players lined up at the 30 and 35-yard line. So instead of guys running full speed at each other on kickoffs, this will improve player safety while still allowing teams to strategize and find new ways to get big kick returns. And the other thing with this rule is there's no more fair catches, meaning that we're going to see a lot more returns instead of boring kicking through the back of the end zone or players fair catching and then heading to a commercial break. And so it makes sense why the Kansas City Chiefs would take a flyer on a rugby player because in rugby, you have to be able to break tackles. And with this new kickoff format, you're going to have to be able to break tackles and you're going to be able to try a bunch of different things. We know that Lewis Reese Zamet has that rugby background and is a very physical guy. So I definitely think we will see the Kansas City Chiefs try some things there. Otherwise, Reese Zamet projects to be a wide receiver running back hybrid. Now, something that I found interesting about this is Charles Goldman. Now, something else that I found interesting about this pickup, Charles Goldman, who, if you guys don't know, covers the Chiefs on Twitter, writes for A to Z Sports. He put out a tweet saying, interesting listening to the new Chiefs OW, Lewis Reesamit, talk about his transition from rugby to the NFL. He says he's not used to running full speed and trying to stop on a dime. So when I read that, I thought to myself, okay, so this is a guy that really does not know how to run routes at all probably isn't someone that's going to make a ton of people miss. He just doesn't have that footwork and that uh, feel for the game of football in order to stop on a dime and kind of make those cuts and running routes. I even saw a small clip of him running routes and his release looked subpar to say the least. And um, he wasn't super explosive in and out of his breaks. So you're getting a guy that hasn't played football before. He's only been a rugby guy. But I can understand why the Kansas City Chiefs are taking a flyer on him. That said, though, taking everything into account here, I would be kind of surprised if Reese Zamet actually made the team. He's extremely raw. Yes, he's fast, and he's got that going for him. But in the few clips that I watched of him, he didn't look super athletic. He didn't seem to have very good agility. Kind of reminded me of Sky Moore. But, hey, you know, with the Chiefs receiver room as it currently stands, you never know. And it seems like Reese Amit maybe has a better opportunity to make this team because he's not being brought in just to be a receiver. This is someone that maybe could take advantage of those new kickoff rules and maybe just be a specialist. And, hey, if he can do that, good for him. And um, I would like to see that work out. But on the surface, guys, I just don't see him really making the team. And I would hope that the Kansas City Chiefs aren't using this signing as an answer to their offensive woes from last year. They still need to add a veteran receiver. Um, Lewis Reese Dammit shouldn't be counted on as a guy to make an impact next year. If he does, cool. But this is a flyer guy. This is an upside guy. This is an upside play. 
But this isn't a guy that you bank on being a contributor next year because I saw a lot of people talking about the signing on Twitter. I think some are confused as to what it means. It doesn't really mean all that much. It's just the Kansas City Chiefs taking a shot on a player with upside who's coming from a rugby background and could potentially help them out uh, with this new kickoff format being implemented. But yeah, guys, that's really all I have. I just want to hop on and talk about this because I thought it was pretty interesting. And it's not every day that the Kansas City Chiefs are signing guys from other sports to come play for them. And it's not often that you hear about a rugby star coming over to the NFL. But those are my two cents on this move that the Kansas City Chiefs have made. I want to hear from you guys down in the comments below what you think of this signing. Do you think Lewis Reese will ever do anything? Would love to hear your guys' thoughts, but... With all that being said, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this. And make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com for more. I'll see you all in the next one. Go Chiefs!